Hello and today's a short video on focus stacking. I use this quite a lot in my photography if I want really really sharp um, images both front and back. Um, useful if the foreground is quite close to the camera and it's hard by hard to sort of use a a narrower aperture um, f16 might not still get everything totally sharp so so here I would focus stack an image and I've got these two images here if I click in to the first one and zoom in you see I've got really sharp focused on the foreground the foreground tree and then move on to the second image there's a slightly blurry foreground tree but a sharp background background tree and I will merge these in Photoshop to get a very sharp image front and back. So first of all I would select both my images by pressing command on my Mac and I would right click go to the edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. So not open, not edit in Photoshop, but open as layers, which is important. Click open anyway. Take a moment or two to load up, but it should then just open immediately in Photoshop. And here we are. The images both images in Photoshop layered on top of each other so you've got the the on the bottom here it's got the sharp background and then the top image has got the sharp foreground um, I don't think it really matters which way around they go so the first thing to do is to select both of these images I usually again press command and click on both you can also go into select up here, select all layers. Now this works with more than just two layers. Um, for example, if there was something in the foreground here, I could have three images that I'd opened, um, or five or 10 um, people can photo stack many, many, many images. But here, just for simplicity, it's just the two. So we have our two layers selected. Now the first thing to do is to align the layers to make sure that they are perfectly aligned. It's very easy between taking shots for there to be a very fractional movement in the camera. And so you need to have them lined up. So we go into edit and auto align layers. It gives a few options. I always find that the auto option works perfectly well. I don't have anything else clicked and click OK. This will do its magic and it will align the layers. So you can't really see too much. Sometimes you see a little bit. If I zoom in, see here the little white line that shows it wasn't quite aligned. Sometimes it's worse than that, but it's always worth doing. Now we have both layers still selected. So now we do the second part, which is to auto blend the layers. It gives you two options, either panorama, which we're not doing today. We're stacking the images on top of each other. I've, I've clicked both seamless tones and colors, and content aware fill transparent areas. I don't think this one's too important, but I've clicked it anyway. Press OK. And it just takes a few moments to effectively just select the sharp bits of each of the pictures. So it will create layer masks, which is starting to get a bit complicated, but it effectively just removes the sort of black areas in here are what it's deleted from that top layer. So the blurry areas, the white areas it's kept and vice versa in, in the bottom layer. And now when we zoom in, you see in this merged layer at the top, it is sharp at the front and sharp at the back. Really, really quite simple. And then what I usually do at the end, you can see this line on the side. So where the where the um, hasn't been quite aligned. So I would then go to my filters, um, sorry, into layer. Now I just flatten the image, which just merges all those layers together. 
I would crop so just probably crop in I can also just do this back in in Lightroom I actually find the Lightroom cropping tool a lot easier than Photoshop and there we go and then the final step would be to on the Mac press command S which will save the image and when I go back into Lightroom you see the two images that I selected at the start and then we have this, the merged image and when I zoom right in beautifully sharp throughout and that is how to focus stack